hold the phone. Help me understand how everyone is down and losing money. Okay, where has all the money gone? My portfolio is down. The short hedge funds are down and losing money. AMC is down. All the meme stocks are down. Melvin is hemorrhaging money. Credit Suisse is in a free fall. Citadel is in trouble. Where have all the profits gone? Clearly, money is not like energy, where its energy cannot be destroyed or created. Explain this to me. So the main reason everything is dropping in price right now is because the Federal Reserve is cutting liquidity to the overall stock markets. And on top of that, the hedge funds have been extremely, extremely over leveraged, playing with margin, playing with fire. And now we're seeing margin calls happen across the board. We're seeing hedge funds close their doors for good. We're seeing hedge funds close specific funds for good. We're seeing companies that were completely overvalued finally go back to where they're actually fairly valued. And what's important to note is that maybe the craziest part has not even yet begun. Longtime shareholder here today is the first time I checked the price in a month. I've been a shareholder since February 2021. Been holding it by ever since. I've seen my account gain thousands just as quickly diminish. I've lost all my gains from the run-up of June. I went from constantly checking the stock price every 10 to 15 minutes, checking Twitter, Reddit, etc. to going a whole month and not even opening my stock up. And honestly, it felt great. It was weighing on my mental health and constantly checking and seeing all the manipulation. I know we will squeeze and it's only a matter of time. Now, when will we squeeze? I don't know and neither do you. Could it be tomorrow, next week, next month? Yeah. Could it be the next couple of years? Do yourself a favor and just set the stock alerts and go on with your life. You'll be doing yourself a big favor. I've seen countless posts of people saying they are tired and angry of the manipulation. That's exactly what they want us to feel. It's a mind game. And to get you to tap out is to sell. According to Fintel, the most volatile stock borrow rate is a whopping 1,744%. The next 777%. Yet, the cost of RO for AMC, 1.3%. GME, 5.6%. You think any of the top 1,000 stocks are more volatile than AMC and GME? Is this proof of counterfeit shares, DOJ, SEC, any comments? So the cost of borrow rate for AMC has been pretty shockingly low. The whole duration, more or less, of this entire situation. And it makes no sense to me, the fact that the cost of borrow has been so low throughout this entire play. Comment down below what you guys think this is all about. If you have diamond hands, the daily price is a blessing in disguise. Been here since $5, it's moon or nothing, so take the BS price drops and add more moon bananas on the discount. We are not here for hedgy crumbs, so the 20s, 30s, 40s does not matter at all. Let's punish these corrupt hedgies and buy and hold till they crumble. Stay the course, buy and hold till they cannot be beat. Diamond hands will be rewarded in due time. Now, it's pretty true that the 20, 30s, and 40s doesn't really even make any of us flinch anymore. I mean, obviously, I'm only speaking for myself, but it seems like as the community as a whole, if AMC does reach 20, let's say, or 30 or 40, the community is kind of like, yeah, that's cool. We're heading up to the bigger numbers, but nobody is like, oh, great. It's time to sell. It's time to make our little crumbs of money. The retail investors are in this trade for the long term, and we can see that by the data. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, guys, there's a lot more to go through. Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on an up and coming video. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to please drop a like on the video. It really helps the channel grow. And lastly, make sure to go down below to my description to see all the links down there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.